the Magic Touch is the first ever drug eluting balloon that releases serolimus to the vessel wall as opposed to paclitaxel. But paclitaxel is a well-known drug to be a little bit more toxic. It was essentially abandoned on the top of a stent. It still worth with a balloon, but I think having a more a safer drug, a more user-friendly drug, such as serolimus, would be essentially safer. And that needs are generally these two situations. The small vessel that you don't want to put a lot of metal because the expansion, you can cause more injury to the vessel wall. And instant restenosis because you already have a stent that failed. So to put another stent and then another stent, we will create this multiple layer of metals that are not physiological to the vessel wall. Perhaps a third a situation will be when you have a side branch that is jailed, when you put a stent in a main vessel and there is a side branch that is jailed, and then you just want to open the ostium and try to avoid restenosis at, at the ostium of the side branch. So those three situations for me, there'd be a huge benefit from a drug eluting balloon that is very efficacious. Magic Touch as a first uh, serolimus uh, eluting balloon has created a very interesting clinical program. They started very robust and, and more aggressive with a 400 patient registry, essentially performed in India, and the results were very, very promising. So for this, during this meeting, during Euro PCR, there will be a presentation to show the major cardiac events at the end of one year. And overall, if you include death, MI, and revascularization, we have around 4.5% MACE altogether. So less than 5% in a situation such as small vessel and instant restenosis. For the European registry, uh, I have to give credit uh, to my friend uh, Bernardo Cortesi, who is leading the trial here in Europe with close to 1,000 patients. Many important centers in Europe are including patients in this trial. It's in the beginning with 150 patients enrolled so far. But the goal is to have a real world experience in 1,000 patients with the Magic Touch here in Europe. The next step will be to design a randomized trials. So we are uh, very close to start a randomized trial with close to 200 patients, randomizing Zions as a metallic stent versus Magic Touch. The primary endpoint will be a late loss, but we're also going to have a sub-study with intravascular imaging with OCT. So I think that there is a very viable alternative in situations that more metal, that metallic stent is not going to be the first option, such as instant restenosis, small vessels, side branches, particularly with this novel device that releases serolimus, which is encapsulated and, 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 work, and the adventitia works as a reservoir to have a biological effect to inhibit neointima formation. So I think that's a, a, a word, a more futuristic word, if you will, that there will be a very interesting solution for this uh, anatomical situation. <music>